You are now tuned in to Peach State TV, where any gym is home. www.peachstatehoops.com. Enjoy the show. Mariah Massengale is a guard out of Tennessee, right out of Chattanooga. You're going to watch her in this first clip. We get right into shooting. One of the things that we talked about with her, she has a tendency on a shot to, to dip it a little bit, to start her shooting pocket a little bit low. So we talked about getting that pocket higher first and foremost, but two is she finishes her release, making sure that her elbow is above her eye. You can see her talking to us right now, talking about that same thing, trying to get herself square, get her body ready to go, and get her feet underneath her, holding her fall through with her elbow finishing over the top. Uh, quick guard, a lot of potential, a lot of upside, really good ball handler, also a good on-ball defender. We'll talk more about her here in the next couple of clips. You can see early, we get her on the move here. Uh, actually bringing the basketball down the floor. We call it drag, and we drag the ball down the floor to the left. Let her get a little bit low, and we're going to act as if a high screen comes for you. See her now get low, change direction, wait for the screen. Now what she's reading is that the hedge jumps, and then her girl actually flies underneath the screen, leaving her the opportunity to kind of slip it there. And she's reading, reading, no screen, whoop. Quick change of direction, and she's getting to the rim. Same thing here now on the right side. We're dragging it to the right. One of the things we actually get in here and talk about in a minute in the clip is stringing the basketball out. You'll see us use a chair here a couple of clips from now doing the same thing where we actually string the basketball out. She's actually going a little bit lower than where we'll have her going here in a little bit. You see we get into what we call spot shooting here. Our uh, partner shooting, working on catching. You can see her right here catching the ball high. That shooting pocket higher than it was when we started in the workout. It was dragging a little bit low. And one of the things, even right there, the ball dropped a little bit. It hits the front of the rim. When she keeps that pocket high, she can get the basketball out a little bit quicker, a little bit more in a hurry, and she becomes a much better shooter percentage-wise. Um, you know, has the chance, I think, to be a very good shooter before it's all over. Just the 2013 here shooting in these clips. You see the fall through is good. Even when the pocket's a little bit lower, fall through is pretty good. It's just keeping that pocket high so she doesn't trail off the basketball. But overall, a very good shooter early, as you'll see through the rest of the clip. Good. Don't fade. Don't drip. Pocket high and shoot it. Good. Good. Pocket high and shoot it. Hold your fall through. We're good. Keep shooting. You're fine. Shoot. Don't drift. No two shots are the same. Good, rotate. Two shots are the same. We want to shoot two the same way. Good. Pocket high is low. And low. Start the ball high. De LeBlanc. Good. A bad switch. Same thing again. You can see us come back now to what we talked about a little bit earlier. Now we've added in the chair to kind of give her a visual, and we're going to actually turn the corner on this as opposed to slipping and going underneath the chair. We actually come all the way around, trying to rub as close as she can here off the chair, drag left, change direction, boom, come right off and explode. We're going to alternate between layups and one dribble jumpers, and we'll switch her here to the left side in just a second. Same thing now, we just switch sides, still the change of direction come with the quick rub, good footwork and pull up. You know, one of the things we talked about wanting to do over the course of time is get comfortable to the point where you can make your read, make your decision at the free throw line or adjust a little bit inside of it before you decide whether you're going to try to take it all the way in to finish there with the trees, the post players, or whether you're going to pull it up and knock down the jumper. 